been meditating on the reality of the invisible temple that's in the heaven, in the invisible world. There is a dwelling place, a place that includes us, that we are a part of in the invisible. A temple, a dwelling place, a place that is a home, a vibrational home, a spiritual home. You might suppose it's the place from which we have come and the place which to which we'll go. But that kind of uh, leaves it to the cradle and the grave. How about right now? There's rightfully a place within us that we access and know now that is a temple. All the feelings of a desire for home for family, for love and friendship, for community, maybe even for nationhood. Where do those feelings come from? They come from an awareness of the temple, maybe not vividly present in consciousness, but somewhere within us, we're aware that there's a temple that's hovering, that is our rightful dwelling place in life, a place where we have our being, a place where we have our appointed place, where we know our citizen, citizenship in that kingdom, our appointed place as a lose words escape me, right? Could grasp for human words to somehow try to capture our appointed place in that temple. But as a respected king or queen of that temple, priest or priestess of that temple, a knight of that realm, a lady of that realm, an esteemed member of that royal family, a treasured child of that kingdom, treasured son or daughter. That's how we know ourselves. When we have entered that kingdom, walking between worlds, I think people who know me a little, even a little bit, know I don't get silly about such stuff, <laughs> right? Like taken up with imagination about it. It's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a spiritual awareness of a presence of a reality that is normal and natural for us to have as human beings. And when we bring that an awareness of that reality into this world. Yes, we do create families and communities and friendships, love relationships, communities and nations, because they're all implicit, intrinsic to the temple in which we live. And so it's very natural to come together as a community of, of people, as a nation of people. It's natural for people around the world to constellate as we are right now, wherever you may be, because it's being constellated out of, out of a higher reality that we are knowing and expressing, embodying, allowing to manifest. You might say we are remembering. Remembering in the sense of recalling, allowing to come again to consciousness but then remembering in the sense of being members of something 
that is being reconstellated among us in life. That is what is happening in this community. There is a remembering going on 